Hello, everyone. This is Independent Conservative. I am Ryan Bolin. Thank you all for joining me once again. I want to do a follow up to the video that I did on uh, the Trump and Biden the situation and during the debate where Trump made the statement about the black jobs. Now, I only do follow up videos if I feel a need to do so, especially if I've read some of the comments and the comments seems to be a little bit awkward in the way they're in the way they are. It's almost like, man, did they really uh, listen to the video? So, uh, yeah, I don't often do follow ups and follow up videos unless I feel the need to do so. But before I go into that, uh, I want to say first that I thank everyone for watching my videos and I thank all the subscribers. I would not have a thousand subscribers if you guys did not subscribe for those of you subscribing and are watching this video. I would not have it. I thank you and appreciate you. I would not have a channel if you didn't subscribe and watch. I thank you. Now, having said that, before I got created my YouTube channel and during the first stages of creating my YouTube channel, I knew and understood that everyone was not going to agree with everything I had to say. I was just some guy that, you know, uh, and I knew that and I wasn't going to agree with everything they said. I was some guy, you know, middle-aged guy who, who, who was an avid reader uh, and had become a conservative politically and wanted to share those views. I mean, I mean, I've changed my channel's name several occasions. I mean, you know, one was black, another black conservative and, and other other terms that I used to describe the title of the channel. Uh, but I've grown over the years and I'm thankful for that. Uh, but. I understood that, that 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 everyone wasn't going to agree with me, and I under, and, and I understand it now, and I'm able to accept that. I can endure that. A lot of people don't don't accept the fact that as a black man, I'm a Christian because I'm serving a white Jesus. I mean, there are literally people that, that believe that, you know, which is which is is just to me, it's just weird and crazy. But that's what they believe, and I I look, I accept that. I disagree with it totally. Period. Totally disagree with it. But I accept that God, I'm no choice, but accept that's, that's, that's their view. Okay, fine. I can't, you know. But having said all that, sometimes you may make comments, or I myself, I, put, I may make comments that people are not going to agree with. Especially with this situation when it comes to Trump and the Democrats and, and Biden and so forth and this debate. Now, why am I saying this? Why am I doing this? Several, several, several things I want to deal with here. The first thing, and I, and I don't want anyone to get offended by this. I'm just sharing this because I, 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 I feel that some of the comments that I have read, and I'm thankful for you for making the comments. I feel like some of the people that made the comments did not listen to the entire my entire commentary on why Trump said black jobs and what was the motive behind it and so forth and why you used it. I feel like a lot of them did, some of them rather, did not actually listen to my commentary. I think sometimes when I read some of these comments, and not just with that video, but with videos in the past, that what people tend to do, or at least it seems like they tend to do, okay, is they will read the title and then they will make a judgment based off of the title. Now, I've shared this with a friend of mine. And then I would ask this friend of mine, did you listen to my commentary? And this friend of mine would say, Ted said, no, I didn't really listen to it. How can you make a judgment on my video content if you didn't listen to anything that I had to say? You just looking at the title. The title is designed to get people, to catch people's attention so that they can watch the video. You could argue it's clickbait. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. I don't believe in clickbait that much because clickbait may be something where you put a title up there and the, and the title has nothing to do with the content. I try to match the content with the title. But I create a title where it appeals to at least some people and they be like, okay, hey, they see it in the news feed. Hey, you know, I'm going to check this out. Okay. I suggested to this friend of mine, please listen to the commentary before you make the judgment. I may not be the best commentator out there. Okay. I may not be, I'm not a Brandon T. Tatum. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a, uh, Anthony Brown Logan, although I get a lot of inspiration from them. And those guys are the black conservatives that have encouraged me 
in an indirect way to do my little thing, okay? I get it. I'm, I'm an older guy. They're younger. I'm older. I'm just some young, I'm just some older dude, you know, from the city of Cleveland that, that loves to read and study. And my eyes were open to certain things, and I wanted to share that. That's basically what it is, okay? I'm not a Brandon T. Tatum. Like I said, I'm not an Anthony Brown Logan. I'm none of these guys. I'm not a Jericho Green. I'm just Ryan Clifton Bowden, a 55-year-old middle-aged guy. You want to call that middle-aged guy, you know, middle-aged. That's all I am. Nobody special. But I also believe that I have something that I can share with people, okay? Having said that, I suggested to this, to this friend of mine, listen to the commentary first, okay? Maybe you might think it's too long, but at least try to listen to some of it so that you can get the gist of what I'm trying to communicate before you make a judgment call. You can't comment on something that you don't know about, that you don't hear about. People, people say that all the time to me. Okay. And I agree. Now, having said that and gotten that out of the way, let's deal once again with this whole debacle of what Trump said. Now, y'all, I'm going to explain to you why I, I, I wanted to go back over this, because I think this is very important. Because I think people keep getting this idea that Trump is racist, Trump is racist. So let me let me share something with you. And I think I kind of hit off with it in the last video and I kind of mentioned it in reference to Biden. Oh, I mentioned it in the comment. That's what I think of there. I mentioned it in the comment. I find it interesting to me that people, after Trump said that, now let me, let me go back a little bit. Let me go back here. I don't think I really elaborated on this in the last video. It, I did see that part of the debate, okay? And Trump was defending black people against the illegal aliens coming to this country and taking jobs that a lot of these black people who may have low skills usually take okay trump was defending them because he was under the biden administration the people that everybody rah 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 on about the people that everybody defending and love so you know the the, the, the president rather that everybody's rah 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 not the people the president that everybody's rah 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 and and rooting for and and they love him so much it's under the Biden administration that thousands upon thousands of these illegals are coming over here and they're into this country and taking jobs that are mostly held by black and Hispanics. These are low skilled jobs. Low skilled jobs don't mean black people are low skilled. We're just talking about a certain section of, of, of black people who may have low skills. They don't have college education. They don't have a lot of experience, and, but they need jobs. So there are certain jobs out there that will take them in, okay, and pay them a certain amount of money, but not a lot of money, okay? Those are low-skilled jobs. That's what Trump meant by that, and that's what I mean by that, okay? Um, sorry about that. <laughs> you heard that noise of commercial. Um, yeah, that's what he meant by that. Now, let's deal with what I believe I think is very, very, very concerning to me. And that's in reference to something Biden said several years ago um, when he was being interviewed by Charlemagne the God. Why they call it God? Why he calls himself Charlemagne the God? I, why, well, Charlemagne's different. Why he say the God? I have no idea. I don't know what that's supposed to be about. But anyway, I ain't going to talk about it on that way. Anyway. Um, yeah. Biden got on the man's show after Charlemagne the God had made some comments about, hey, man, you need to come over here. And I'm paraphrasing Charlemagne the God's words. You need to come over here, man, do this and the other. We need something for the black community, this and the other. And Biden, with a little smirk on his face, you know, talking about, so, well, you know what, I mean, if you don't vote for me, if you don't know to vote for me and Trump, Trump you ain't black. Clearly a racial comment no one on the left in terms of the mainstream media even hardly ever covered that everybody bypassed all of that and still voted for this man still voted for him but here so so it's okay for biden to say if you don't vote for me you ain't black first you th think about what he said i heard what he said i i heard i listened to the actual interview 
Notice what he said. He said, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. Democrats are good with doing that. They use terminology that they think black people use all the time. Ain't and what's up and ain't and all this kind of stuff. And then they get mad and say that Trump, when he said black jobs, this is how Trump think about black people. Oh, but it's okay for Democrats like Biden to sit up here and say, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. First, he's telling you that you shouldn't think the way you think. You need to think the way they want you to think. Then he tells you in your face. He tells you, you ain't. He uses improper language to supposedly relate to black people. And all Charlemagne the God can say, well, man, it ain't about my color. It ain't about this all what you want to do for our community. What, I, what you need to do for our community. The way I want to say, I ain't going to get into the, a tirade about what any of these politicians can do for the black community because the black community need to do for themselves and stop looking to politicians to do everything for them. God, dog, man. But who, who's, on the, who's on the slave plantation here when you keep looking for politicians to fix everything for you? That's a slave mentality, the way I see it. But anyway, I digress. It was perfectly okay for Biden to say that. But here, here, Trump doesn't use the best terms to describe these jobs that these illegals are taking from blacks and Hispanics. But the question is, is he lying? Let me ask you, let me ask people this question. Not nobody here directly, but I'm just saying in general. Say, for instance, you live in a, in a sanctuary city where they're just allowing these, these illegals to come over and take all your goods from you your money from you, your, your handouts and everything from you. And you decide you want to get a job. You don't have the education. You don't have all the experience and the skills. But there are jobs out there that's willing to accept you and, and, and employ you. Okay, You may be getting minimum wages, but at least you're getting some money. You come in there and you, you're trying to fill out it. And all you see is people that you know you've never seen before. You know you've never seen any of these people with these jobs before. So you say, oh, man, those jobs are filled. So you go somewhere else where it may not be, it may be a place, a, a place of employment that may not uh, require a college degree or a lot of experience or training or whatever. You go to that area. Same situation. You get turned down. You go to another place. Same situation. You get turned down. These companies hire these illegals because they know these illegals don't care how much money they get paid. These illegals come from countries where they get they, they get below minimum wage, which what would be considered minimum wage here in America. They get below that in those countries. So these employers and these companies hire them over black people and Hispanics, okay, for these low-skilled jobs because they more than likely are paying them even lower the wages. They're taking your money. <laughs> and guess whose fault that is? Biden's fault is under Biden's administration. He, the one, flipped the script of what Trump was trying to accomplish to protect black people and Hispanics. And what, is, what happens? He gets hated on. Everybody jumps on him saying, oh, he said black jobs and Hispanic jobs. What's a black job? What's a Hispanic job? Man, come on. Come on, bro. My question is to that person is, is what he's, okay, regardless, if you think he's talking about somebody condescending, let's, let's divorce ourselves from what we feel. And let's look at what he actually said. Do you think what he's saying is a lie? Because if we actually listen to the debate and what he was saying, you know in your heart, the person knows in their heart of hearts that he was not lying. Trump was not lying. And Biden's sitting over there looking like a fool because he know he was, Trump was telling the truth. What defense did he have for that? None, Harley. None. And yet people keep voting for this man. Keep voting for this corpse in human skin. I'm going to hit it hard. I'm going to hit this hard because this is a real problem. I think people have to get out of this mindset that Trump is racist. I don't believe he's racist. And I'm going to keep saying it over and over and over and over and over again. No one can convince me of that. Stop it. Don't even try. Don't even try to convince me of that. Look deeper into Biden and the history of lies that he has told about being in the civil rights movement. And all. all that stuff has been debunked. It was a lie. And when people find that out, what do they do? They go right behind and vote for him again. How could you do that? How could a person do that? How could a person do that? It, it makes no sense to me. 
I know we all have different views. I know we all have different opinions, but that makes no sense to me. If somebody keep doing something like that over and over and over and over and over again, or some politician does that over and over and over again, and they get in the office after I didn't vote for them, and then I don't see any improvement in anything, I'm going to start thinking, wait, wait, a, wait a minute, man. Maybe I should stop voting for this particular person or this particular political party because I'm not gaining nothing. I'm not gaining any kind of ground with these individuals in office. It's just not working for me. Now, I wanted to say that because I wanted to bring this out because to go back over there and expound a little bit more on what Trump said. Trump was defending black people and Hispanics against the illegals taking their jobs. Yes, he didn't use the best words. Yes, he didn't use the best terms. But let's look past that. I feel like we need to think outside the box of what the mainstream media keeps telling us. Think about this for a moment. I, I, just think about this, man. Let's think about this. I'm just saying in general. Where do we get our information from? We don't wake up in the morning and say, hey, I hate Trump and I love Biden. Or, hey, I hate Biden and I love Trump. We don't do that. Our perceptions, if we honest with ourselves about people, about other situations and circumstances, but mainly about people and politicians and, and celebrities and so forth, our perceptions of them come from what we see, come from the mainstream news, come from the industry, uh, industry, uh, entertainment industry and other outlets. These are limited perspectives. Okay, These are limited perspectives. If all a person is doing is watching the mainstream news, which is mostly controlled by liberals, you're only going to get a liberal perspective. They're not going to show you a favorable, favorable view of a conservative or a conservative ideology. It's not going to be the case. And if you're only hearing one worldview all the time, all the time, that's the only worldview you're getting, then you're going to only have one worldview yourself. You're going to only have one perception. And when someone brings something new and different, it's going to shock your brain. Like, oh my God, what is this new stuff they're talking about? And at that point, that person has a choice. They can either look into this new side and break that cognitive dissonance in their brain. Or they can just live in the, in the box and live in the matrix, continue to live in the matrix. When a person chooses to continue to live in the matrix that the mainstream media have cr created for them, there's nothing else one can do for them. You have to live in it. There's nothing else, I, there's nothing else can be done about it. Plug back in. Plug back in and, and, and let, the, let the mainstream media paint a world for you that makes you feel good and comfortable. Not saying anyone is watching this, okay? Just saying in general. What else can you do? But I just want to expound a little bit on that. No, 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 I, I, no, no, it's not, no. To end this video on this note, just for suggestions, like I told you guys, I, I, I thank each and every one of you for watching. And I thank all my subscribers. I would not have a channel if you guys weren't watching. I would not have a channel if you guys weren't subscribing. But for those who are not doing it, please make sure you, 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 you listen to my commentaries. If they go a little bit too long, I get it, I understand. Like this one went over. I get it. I understand. I get it. And I'm trying to work on that. But there's a lot in me that comes out. OK, I got a lot to share. Uh, just take the time to just listen to some of my commentary. OK, at least listen to five minutes of it. <laughs> you, you know, that way you can get a, you know, get a better. Because when I look at the comments and I say, man, what in the world? No, 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 that's not what I said. This is what I said. <laughs> Did you listen? And then I found out, no, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't listen to it. So now, nah, you know. I think that wouldn't be good and it wouldn't be fair. So I just wanted to make that suggestion. But once again, I thank each and every one of you for taking the time to uh, listen to this video. I still take my stance on that. I don't think that Trump was being racist at all. Maybe not the best words and terminology, but certainly not racist. And I mentioned Biden because Biden is a hypocrite. And everybody thinks because because he's a professional and know how to. I'm not going to go no further than that. I could do another video on uh, persuasion and, and, and political persuasion, how these politicians have duped us down through the decades. But that's another video by itself because they, they're good at what they're doing. They're good at talking. They're good at it, man. They're just really good at putting words together and phrases together. A little bit of history here and a little bit of history there. And then they weave in the lie. Well, by that time, you, they already have you. They already got you. They already got your mind. So when they, once they weave the lie into there, you can't detect the lie. And even if you want to detect a lie, or even if you can detect a lie, you love all the other little truths they put in there that you're willing to say, oh, I put up with that lie as long as I can get some of these truths. Just saying. 
Yeah, so that's what I believe. That's what I want to bring that out. Um, you know, so thank you guys um, for watching. Uh, I'll be talking to you guys later. God bless you all.